Imagine this situation. You contract with 20 workers to perform a service for your customers. After an IRS audit, it was determined that your workers were actually employees, not independent contractors. You're then asked to pay federal employment taxes as well as the employer portion of Social Security and federal unemployment taxes. And those are only the federal ramifications. You'll also be responsible for paying additional state unemployment taxes, as well as premiums for workers' compensation and disability insurance. While employers are exposed to expensive fines and litigation for worker misclassification, employees may miss out on employer-provided benefits and lose protection of several federal labor and employment laws that are generally reserved for employees. So how can you be sure that you're classifying your employees correctly? Are they employees or are they independent contractors? Government agencies consider a number of factors to determine how much control an employer has over the working relationship. Typically, the more an employer controls the work that is being done, the more likely it is that an agency will find that an employment relationship exists. To determine the degree of control, agencies often look at behavioral control, financial control, and the type of relationship that exists between an employer and its workers. For example, when looking at financial control, you can look at your method of compensation. If you have a worker on your payroll and he or she receives steady, recurring paychecks, that worker is being paid more like an employee and less like a contractor. Answering yes to any of the following questions may also indicate that you are dealing with an employee rather than an independent contractor. Do you supply the necessary tools, materials, or equipment for the employee to do the required work? Is the work permanent? Is the work considered integral to your business? Do you require workers to wear a uniform or drive a company-provided vehicle? On the other hand, if your workers have more freedom over such aspects, it may be easier to show that they are independent contractors. Worker misclassification can be a costly mistake. We can help you avoid the consequences of worker misclassification and help you determine if your workers are employees or independent contractors.